pot full of pho on a cold rainy day, spicy lamb skewers from sidewalk stalls. We all have fond memories of Toronto's Chinatown here at Spadina and Dundas, but what would you do if your go-to spots disappeared? Well, one community group is buying local buildings to help keep the essence of Chinatown alive. Over the decades, Chinatown has witnessed many ownership changes. Case in point, these 10 long-standing businesses on 315 to 325 Spadina Avenue. This past March, a condo developer bought the land to build a 13-story mixed-use building. After becoming worried about the changes to their neighborhood, this group of residents came together to form the Toronto Chinatown Land Trust. Chi Tam is managing director. She and her team will soon be conducting a census on the ownership of buildings in Chinatown. They want to speak with residents about how to keep local land in community hands. When you think about Chinatowns, they exist because groups of people do not have systemic power and therefore the answer is to build collective power. If you can't provide housing security for yourself and acquire property because you have been made illegal as an individual, a good strategy is to come together with other people, form an association and buy it as a democratic and nonprofit organization together. One of Tam's main sources of inspiration for Chinatown was the Parkdale Neighborhood Land Trust. Executive Director Joshua Barnes says the trust bought its first building in 2019 and now owns 85 properties in Parkdale. In 2021, it lobbied the City of Toronto to set up a program that helps nonprofit groups provide affordable housing. So the city proposed the Multi-Unit Residential Acquisition Program, or MURA. It went on to help the Kensington Market Community Land Trust and then officially launched in 2022. Just in, in this 10 years, like we went from just an idea, residents trying to respond to the, you know, the crisis on the ground, to now a, a fully formed community controlled organization that owns a big housing stock, provides a lot of affordable housing, and has a vision to keep doing that in a really big and impactful way. In 2021, with Mira's help, the Kensington Trust bought 54 and 56 Kensington Avenue. Co-chair Dominique Russell says Parkdale played a big role in helping their trust get started. We had tremendous support as well from Parkdale Neighborhood Land Trust, or a sort of sister organization, so that we were able to kind of step in uh, to the, the process of, um, of figuring out whether you can buy the building, putting the financing together, but also all the, uh, the building analysis that you need to do. Both the Kensington and Parkdale Trusts help guide Chinatowns. All three say geography and planning professor Kuni Kamazaki also played a key role in setting them up for success. Tam says the trusts have an inclusive approach to solving Toronto's housing crisis because Kamazaki shared his time, strategic advice and research grants. It's been one big sister teaching the next group, teaching the next group. So we also now need to pay it forward to the next group. Signing off, I'm Anita Lee of The Green Line reporting with City News.